Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Soma. Oh, we're here and about to do things that I'm pretty sure we're gonna regret. Lower on the crowd override? Oh. Uh. Sure. System overload? Power room. What? Okay. Uh... System overload. I hate you. Do I have to tie it all up? Oh, cool. Oh, no. Ah. No, not right now. Don't time this like that. Look, structure gel. I found some already. I know that we need some structure gel and a couple other things. These? Structure gel, please. Oh. oh, that's a lot of structure gel too. We should take some. We need structure gel, cortex chip, and a battery. The pre screen reminded me of that. Robot repair bay, okay, so that's where our cortex chip is gonna come from, I'm guessing. Dispatch. <gasps> Are you okay? Are you hostile? Is he? Have his organs been replaced by chemical? They have. Oh god, they have. It's not good. Yeah. Wait, what did I what did I push? Oh I pushed the button on the other side, okay. I was like, I don't see anything, okay. It's not glowing, so that means I'm probably at good health. Uh anything to open? Can't track those for some reason. Oh. Oh no. Oh, okay, that's that. What is this? Gloss? Lip gloss? Oh wow, that's a... That's quite the ball. It's heavy. It's quite the ball. Into the abyss. Take it to Alpha in the abyss. Alpha. Alpha? Phi, Tau... Uh, Alpha? Alpha needs medicine? It's sick! Uh, okay. Is this a Cantor set? Wait. Hmm. Little Illuminati symbols. Find Tau, find Alpha, take the gel to Alpha. Is this Acres? The heart of Alpha. I guess it's our reactor question mark question mark. What do they do? Good question. This is the same picture. I don't like that. Tau and Alpha V are all in the abyss, I guess. Alpha? Oh, here's one we haven't looked at yet. Or this. 
Huh? Okay, that just fell. Outgoing Theta. Strasky, are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her, we're leaving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Hmm. Okay, then. Stay safe. Unable to connect. She died. Lumar relay out of range. Tau, please respond. This is Rowley Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tau. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Omicron, can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone all right? We will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm mm. sure you'll get used to it. <laughs> Just wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys, any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to pick us up. You uh, heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. All right. Heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Well, this sounds like a cool place. Strasky? Yeah, look at that one. Don't like the distortions that happen to my screen. So who are you? You're not Herbie. Herbie's the one that's dead in the power suit with her head knocked off. Are you alive? Maybe technically? Okay. Oh! The robots! The cute one, the other cute one, and the less cute one! Uh, okay, locked. Nothing. Stuff to pick up. Nothing in the trash cans, as usual. FN equals MVE. Uh, okay. I guess this is launch stuff. The evac. Looks like it. Looks like rocket science. Let's put it that way. Um. Alright, here's the robot. What's this? I don't know what that is. Branch AP. Oh, that's just the music making sense. Ah, ah. Nothing, nothing. Okay, so I'm guessing that I just, uh. You're a robot, probably. Ah, here we go. Cortex chip diagnostics. Comms, motor, optics. Checked. It's like Tetris. I'm guessing that I need to make all of the things that go in here Let's go out there. Oh, but I also need things to go out here. Um. Screw you, noises. Oh. does it. That's cool. It seems 
happy. Oh no. This one alive as well. It's got some person in it. I don't quite understand how that works. Sorry. I don't really know what I'm doing. Or took us to remove no signal to host. I'm just gonna remove the brain of some other thing again, aren't I? That is a face. I just took out its face. I have a feeling I'm gonna take a drink before things get bad. Yeah, that was weird. Still hanging out. Whoa! It just gets up a lot of EM interference, doesn't it? Why? Cortex chip. Yeah, workshop com. Com is the that's the one that's closed. I guess we won't get anywhere in the dressing room either. What I wanna do is go to the upper room. Oh Yeah. We're not going anywhere in there. Stop with the noises! Oh, is this, uh... I can't go back. We are trapped in Omicron with that thing. That's great. Why would we not want that? that it moved or that it whispers I especially don't like that it whispers what I'm most concerned about is that I will have to run from it even though I can't see it that I am terrified of Actually, gonna make it to the upper section. I know we will. I hear you. What? Stop what? This thing, I'm guessing? How? What about this door? That's what really worries me. Can I trust that to stay closed? Is it even a door? Is it open? Presumably it opens. Oh. Get the virus. Oh no. I get the feeling we've made a bad decision. 
really bad decision. Oh boy! Is that even related to WoW? It's not just acres. I don't know anymore. My eye on you. Ah. Ooh. I'm just glad this still works. And I'm glad that whatever it is that I made it makes it past this thing. Another one? Why did its head explode? Oh. Well. Kids just lock. So he locked himself in here and had to let his head explode. Emergency shower. You just grunt. So what? Is that no? I hear something. It's you. Method. Structure drill as connector and connector. A raw interface between energy pal. Three and organic tissue. Number of interactions. Prefer to Sadius. I don't know what any of this means. Never seen something of that speed. Alright. Oh, so it like attached itself to a mouse. That's good. Is this this is what happened to the mouse? Oh, it is. So they started with petri gel. And then it expanded outside the petri dish. And then it manufactured the thing. And now it looks like that for 26 hours. Something, something, F theta. Death phase, circuit. Mimicked stationary phase, death phase. Structure gel test formula. Circuit interpretation phase. Setup spirit circuit board micro battery. Okay. Check previous results. Less than ideal. Task still, blah, system shock, death. Ref something. Okay. Oh, right, that's just the differential is. Right, differential equation for, yeah, proportional to how much it is. Ideal looks like that. Death phase didn't happen. Less than ideal, I don't know quite what that's computing. It's also trying to talk now, I guess. Which doesn't seem like an improvement. Uncalibrated. Everything is loud. It's scary. Control chip malfunction. Alright. Control chip. Service required. Service away I shall.
listen to me. I am. I don't know if I should trust you. But listen, it's something I have definitely done. Alright, what's up? Oh, okay, so it's just reading. Lisa Cameron, 2103. Okay, so this is a good while before the last events we know about. Structure Joe has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. If applied to circuits, it seems to help out with connectivity. Get the virus. Function. Lisa Cameron, it seems like it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made of the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it seems needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Wait, the gel has code? An eternal vigilance? Apply gel to dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel had hardened within it. Interesting. Progress. Reanimated another mouse with structure gel. This time it was done with. We have to stop it. We do. This time it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by Eames. The results were impressive. The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening it as before, electromagnets are used to cause low electrical current within the animal. This has also provided us the ability to somewhat control it. Jacob Halpert, so this is someone else. Oh no, it's the one who reanimates the mice. So this is closer to the end. 2013-12-12. We suffer. We do. Structure gel remains unchanged and fundamental. Still the same cross-linked gel with aligned graphene in a polyunsaturated matrix that was installed throughout Pathos 2 a year ago. The problem is not the gel, but its controller, the WoW. The gel has not taken on any new properties. The WoW simply uses it in ways that we would never even have dreamed of. It's Paul Lansky. Study results. A week later. Eames again. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures take the gel. Okay. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers, were manipulated by the WoW via structure gel. They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and in turn stricken by cancerous growths that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when even talking when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly after the asteroid killed the surface. I can't for sure say if it's bad code or a carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make it e things easier for us to survive. Stop the WoW. So the WoW changed after the asteroid hit, and it started doing this thing where... It started using structure gel to do stuff. Well, I have a thing. Oh! Well, it's not anything. It's never been anything. Oh! Is there a... Oh, it's the mouse! It's one of those reanimated mice. It's been dead a long time, that's for sure. You can stay in there. Is that structure gel stuff? Anyway, I'm guessing that I probably have to. Wait. Oh. Huh. Is this helpful? Well, I can't take it off, so I'm guessing that all I can do is choose to dispense gel. It's recording what exactly?
That is extremely disturbing. Oh, okay, I get it. Do I? Do I get it? Do I want to do this? It's not clear to me that I want to do this. Oh, it's working again. It's powering it. Yeah, you stay behind the lock thing. And I'm... I'm guessing... Cell 2, huh? thing out there is actually a uh, <sighs> somebody took a dead person and stuck the gel on it. Do I wanna do this? Let's do this. Let's not leave any possibility unexplored. You oh it came back to life. There's something like it. Certainly kind of alive. But dispense more gel. Does it live more? You up tight. That's weird. It's weird shit. Well, hope I'm not missing anything. From that. All right, structure gel. Sip. High box. Okay, I can read the E there, but um, I don't really know how to read the rest of it. I don't know what a high box is. Like this. Hello. Poison the well, huh? No. It. Oh. No. Cracked all the glass. Music, no. Music, bad. I'm scared. Oh boy. That's open now. Hydroponics is also open. I don't want to have to run from that thing. Stay there. Ooh, what? Oh. Alpha is real. Oh, what makes you 
What would you ask them? Uh, I think Ross is trying to tell me something. About Side Alpha? He wants me to go down to the abyss and find it. <laughs> Crazy, right? You've been down there. I just thought you could talk some sense into me. Ronnie, I'm not at liberty to... I can't talk about that. Alarm. Can I listen to another tape? It's not something you really want to get comfortable with. Yeah, no. Oh no. It said Ross. I remember the caption said Ross as well. What's this? Paul Ansky, confirm the correlation between the overloaded systems and the corpse of Dr. Ross. I was able to shield off the corpse inside the glass jar for a couple of seconds and witnessed a massive drop in the readings. Well, we really have to keep Ross inside Omicron, I suggest finding a way to erect a permanent barrier to avoid severe system malfunctions. So that thing is Dr. Ross? Lisa Cameron. Wow, is definitely repairing Ross's corpse. It's the most insane thing I have ever encountered, that's for sure. Somehow the WoW, primarily re relegated to the structure gel inside the walls, is bombarding the corp with every system it can access. The glass jar is surrounded by an unhealthy amount of electromagnetism and radiation, which seems to be instructing gel already struck inside Ross's body. I'm not sure what the WoW expects to happen when it's restored, but all the crazy should stop when the body hits 100%. So that thing was, but I don't know actually. Maybe it's trying to break everything apart so that it, uh, you know, stops? Is he trying to stop it or is it the WoW succeeding? I don't know yet, and I don't know if I want to find out. Oh boy. No, I'm not doing that. Why is there so much health around? I don't want to know the answer. So, laboratory. Looks like laboratory. Rats. Mostly dead. I had to. It's my prerogative. This is a variety of sea cream. Oh, okay. I thought the cod. Bunch of stuff about Atlantic cod. So looks like the wow has also been infecting fish, right? That's what this means. That explains all the weird fish that we've been seeing, too. Yeah, okay. So that all lines up. That's good, I guess. It's Dr. Ross. I just want to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Probably missed anything anyways, but oh, yeah, like this. Oh, it's clearer, Pit Mirror. That Cortex chip is just like the thing that we tore out from the other robot. That's excellent. We murdered someone and took their brains. Probably. Ah. Uh, all right. What a truth. Please not now. Please not now. I think. 
I am going to go in here. I want to talk to Catherine about what the hell is going on. Somehow I doubt she'll have anything to say. Nonetheless, I need to talk to someone. Because I'm scared. And alone. Oh! Oh, that's cool detail. Fish are afraid of the, of the light. Or me. But it synced up pretty well with me using the light. So that's cool. There has to be a power pack upstairs. Go look for one. No. Go look for a power pack ah, upstairs. Okay. I didn't know about that functionality, so okay, I can always better ask about. Ah, well, I guess I'm eventually gonna be making my way through here. I noticed that I didn't open this last time. Right, so this is where we're, our ultimate goal is. So we're gonna have to go by that thing one last time. And I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be a chase sequence. It's this long corridor is too convenient. Prepare for that. This is open. I run through. Yes. Pause briefly. If I can do it. It's risky because I might lock myself out if I'm not careful. I just don't trust it. I, I fully expect to get chased through this because it's, there's enough nothing. I made a weird sound. There's nothing, nothing that it's like, yeah, I was gonna make a chase sequence happen. Johan Ross does some. Oh, this is him. AI psychologist. Oh, okay. Right, so we found out who Ross was. So these are the, the there's more dead people. There's Shelley. Oh, it's a fish. I see. So this is the one that's not a fish. Presumably they were down there trying to stuff. Oh, that makes me feel better. Are you okay? It pulled out his intestines? Oh, that's gross. Why would you... Uh, crazy AI. Psychologist. I also don't like this one bit. I don't like anything that's going on here, basically. It's all... Why would you let me do that? Okay, so... I don't like these hallways, they're creepy. So it's his dead body that the WoW is doing crap to. And maybe he's trying to communicate via EM waves? Main entrance. Oh, it's the main entrance! I think it didn't work. Is it static again? Because I don't have the. Oh no! So they're. I was still static, but just didn't show up the capture. Why did the heads explode? That's also where the transmitter is. Maybe it's. Is it pulling up their heads precisely so that I can go to the going on? Uh, 
my chase. Right, pressure hazard, yeah, whatever. Restricted area. Authorized personnel only. I'll leave that open, just in case. Containment, huh? Oh, there was a door back here. I like how it's been pulling in pieces of the stuff. All right. Get the virus. I know. I get it. Oh. It's not break free just yet. Break free as soon as I get down there. I know it. Well, I want the power room, so that's what we don't want first. Timing hall. Herpy? No. I think we saw her earlier. Yeah, static. Head exploded. Maybe there was... Hmm. I'm starting to think that there may have been a single moment when all their heads exploded. <laughs> like how just kicking the chairs. What's this? Noodles. Future ramen! Take the future ramen down. Oh, they serve them like oh dried. Yeah, they serve them like uh, like coffee. In the future ramen will be like coffee. Oh, that's a real like dinner. Oh no, can I cook this? Is there a microwave? Can I then pretend to eat it? There's a microwave. That's toaster oven. In the future, they still have toaster ovens. Munch print. How does it work? Oh! It's not ramen. Well, I guess it technically is. This is what comes out of it. Tray and all. In the future, it will sell. <laughs> In a hundred years, we'll have, uh. You know. Ramen sized packs to turn into lean cuisine. Can't wait. Kitchen, right? You can open the fridge, but there's never anything in the fridges. Flood hazard. It's quite a thick glass, I hope. Why not have a meeting about the meeting? Why not? Why not? Oh, okay, so undelivered reports. Let's go through them in order. Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. Uh huh. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. Oh, Alpha? No traces of the ARC team. Cameron Eames Lansky. All studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda Est. So, Ross is from Alpha, which is a real thing. That's kept hidden. So presumably, that's the core of all that happened. More aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. Oh. After all, the wow isn't supposed to mourn anything, and definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. Fun. I could use some advice if you can get through. 
Dolenta Est. Dolenta Est. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. They did. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. Cool. That's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. Okay. So everyone's head's exploded. Whoa, whoa, what? That is not where you need to go. That was creepy. Okay, so everyone's head's exploded at one moment. Probably because of the tracking things they had in their heads, I'm guessing, right? Because that, that's like an EM thing that can manipulate that. Truly? Documents. Tau evacuation. On September 13th, Vic Hauclair ordered the staff at Tau to evacuate and move up to the plateau. Together with Engineer Alan Waldeck, I descended into the abyss to assist the evacuation. Following protocol, we waited at the climber platform for 140 minutes and made several attempts to contact Tau. I decided to move towards the site, thinking it might intercept them. That's when I noticed the guiding lights flickering as soon as the whole path shut down. Omega sector swallowed by darkness. I pushed on with my floodlight until I heard screaming over the short-range radio. I carried on, breaking in and out of range. As I hurried closer to investigate, I, invest I came upon the lacerated body of field worker Espinoza. Something big had almost cut her in two. I considered the importance of saving Tau and more specifically Ross as I heard Espinoza's colleagues getting massacred over the radio? Seeing no way to possibly improve the situation, I hurried back to the climber and left the people at Tau to their fate. What's that noise? Wow. Left the people at Tau to their fate. Seeing no way to possibly include this situation. Oh. Get a power suit or Karth pencil. With some luck, Ross made it back to Tau and is able to continue his work at Alpha. To avoid further disturbances, I have decided to report the evacuation as a complete failure, hoping it will stop Theta from attempting another one. Claudia Eames, the manager of Omicron, has already ordered the climber to stay at the plateau for now. My report on the savage wildlife scared everyone enough to stop Waldeck and Darby from maintaining the Lumar probes. It's a good thing Galaski's off site. No! That. What's with the sounds? Wow, oh, they're freaking me out. I thought I heard. I thought I heard something that sounded like clicking. Anyway, it's a good thing Galaski is off site, because I have a feeling he would not have approved. Restrictions came out slightly more severe than I had anticipated, but I'll take it, as long as Ross is left alone to work with the WoW. So... Wait. So Ross went back to Tau... Disturbances... Savage wildlife, huh? Carthage, Dahl, Johan Ross, and Mark Sarak. Isn't he the one that did the continuity thing? Okay, so this is that report. So the uh, wildlife thing is made up? I guess it's an interesting idea. Uh, what am I looking at? What's with the red dots? Oh, is that Alpha? It's presumably what her face looked like when it 
It's still on her body. Oh god. Oh, that feels weird. A spirit or something. I want to make sure I go back. Because we were here. Can we send any of them? Yeah, there's no link. Oh. It's terrifying. Yeah, uh, yeah. Alright. I know just the thing to wrap up. I, the wire wants to break him free. Let's presume. This room took over his body somehow. No. Why are we saving? Oh no. Gross. It's like pierced all the tentacles from his head. Hey, wait. Not unlike me. Are these prototypes? But I eventually became. Oh no. Sad, but I'm betting it will kill me if it can. You stay to your side, and I'll stay to mine, okay? Sounds so angry. It goes dark right before it. Light. Light is what it doesn't like. In proximity. Didn't like proximity either. Alright, don't get close to it. Don't shine lights on it. Get it? Oh. 
High performance rechargeable lithium sulfur pack, standard S3 connection, high mods, sewer rigs and power suits, were completed, recharge the pack, and high mods soon. Okay, so these are the battery charging station. That's what it is. I guess the other one is right next to it. somehow Like light. Does sound angry. I'm not completely sure what to do. Down a whole lot. Oh, storage. It's the power supply. Looks like it. I have no idea what this is. Electronics pile. Like you have. I'm, I know it doesn't like light. But I also don't know what else can I do. Can't get close to it. Doesn't seem to really care about sound. Facing. That's terrifying.
don't know what's going on. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I don't mean to. I think I just need to get by. Cool. We cool. All right. See? It's not so bad. We're almost done. Damn it! Geometry. There's so many pipes. I wish I could help you. Is he even actually hostile? Or is this just creepy? Clearly telling me to go away. So I'll do that. It's fine. I'll deal with that. We now have all the things we need. UTFO. You are too much like me for comfort. <sighs> Alright. Now comes the part I am less happy about. So, in fact, I will stop the video here for now next time we can see what wonders happened to dead Ross's body. If any, maybe it's all okay. Who knows? Let's find out together next time. As usual, thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as the last. See you in the next one.